Okay. Um, so this is uh, basically a database and it's uh, from 2001 to 2006. And as you can see the numbers, uh, we, uh, we looked at a pretty large cohort of patients. And what we're trying to uh, work on it was if, uh, you know, the ongoing argument is about whether we should uh, change the way we, uh, we look at the diet in terms of especially uh, sodium and potassium. Uh, th there was a poster uh, a couple of days ago which was about uh, sodium and potassium and the relation with uh, blood pressure. Now in these two papers here, what we're trying to look at is if there is uh, any association of uh, sodium and potassium with uh, uh, the chronic kidney disease. So basically it's an NHANES trial. We looked at the data from 2001 to 2006 um, the, and we divided the population into quartiles uh, in both these papers according to dietary sodium intake and uh, dietary potassium intake. Uh, we do not have any hardcore uh, urine sodium or urine potassium to look at to kind of reflect how much that uh, dietary recall uh, correlated with uh, what we find in the urine. And then we looked at the primary outcome, which is defined as a CKD, uh, as you can see by the formula here, yeah, estimated GFR less than 60, or, or an estimated GFR more than 60, but with an albumin area more than 30 milligrams per. So, uh, and then, then we performed the multi, uh, multivariate logistic regression analysis, and then we adjusted for the different covariates, uh, including age, sex, uh, rest, their diabetes, hypertension, and then BMI. Uh, here's the data here, um, and then especially uh, one thing that's striking is uh, looking at the age. It's a fairly young population, um, mostly a white uh, population. Uh, the incidence of diabetes uh, and hypertension and uh, BMI, I mean, those are things that you would think of as being confounders. Uh, it's pretty much the same across the board. Uh, this is a schematic representation here. Uh, we kind of failed to show there was any linear regression uh, models that it was uh, directly or inversely correlated. But when we looked at the, the numbers that were broken down in the quartiles, uh, this is what we found. We took a low sodium, which is less than 2,100 um, milligrams per day of sodium as a reference, and then compared that quartile to uh, three others, uh, second, third, and fourth quartile, and uh, this is what we found, the odds ratio of 0.85, and then that kind of kept going down as we uh, moved from second quartile to third quartile, meaning people who are taking somewhere between three and four grams of sodium a day. Um, and then as you can see the numbers here, these are uh, except for the second quartal where the P is like 0.06, it's fairly uh, uh, statistically significant. The rest of other numbers are 0.01 and uh, 0.03. So our conclusion here based on the dietary sodium thing is, uh, well, it's a cohort study and then based on this population cohort study, uh, high dietary sodium in intake is associated with a lower risk of uh, chronic kidney disease. But we definitely would need uh, more clinical trials to uh, prove the theory. As I said, this is more sort of a cohort and uh, mining a database, which was uh, from a few years back.